Yes, you said there's some connection between astronaut Chris Hadfield and insurance. Is that a good place to start? I'm very sure. Why not? It's a nice, weird place, anyways. So um, it's just because I tell it this story when we do financial wellness presentations, we're talking about risk. So Chris Hadfield is one of those speakers that I've, I think I've seen him live three times. I, I feel like I, every day I could probably listen to Chris Hadfield and Ted Lasso and my day would be fairly complete. <laughs> right? um, but he had this story. So when Chris Hadfield was the commander of the International Space Station, he was woken up one day by a cosmonaut who woke him up to tell him that something was spewing out of the International Space Station. And it turned out to be their main coolant. Oh. And, and so, you know, that's kind of a big deal. So like, he, uh, you know, he got up, they went into action. They went, okay, what's going on? Pulled out the manual, said, if this happens, replace this part. Got their two most experienced spacewalkers. And they went out there, pulled out the old part, put in the new one, everyone was safe. And so really good news story. Now, what does that have to do with, you know, insurance and risk? Well, when they were going up to the space station, did they just kind of say, hey, if something goes wrong, we'll just kind of wing it? <laughs> we'll just figure that out at the time. No, they went and said, okay, what are all the things that could possibly go wrong? What are the things that could have a powerful impact on us? And if one of those things happened, how would we deal with it? Now, people have the opportunity to do exactly the same thing, but in with their lives. So you have the opportunity to say, okay, what are the things that could really go wrong in our lives that could really derail us? And, you know, for Kim and I, we're financial professionals, what could really derail us professionally? Um, and if one of those happened, how would we deal with it? So mm -hmm. what if one of us got really sick? What if one of us died or couldn't work for some reason? Like, what are all those things that could really hit us hard? And if those happened, then how do we deal with those? And then, you know, we work with folks to say, okay, if this happens, how do we deal with it? Do we want it to be something we just wing and deal with ourselves or do we want to make it someone else's problem?